Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Hidden Rees. Antarctica. The seventh continent of the world. Antarctica is the southernmost continent on Earth, is known for its extreme weather conditions and isolation from the rest of the world. But beyond its harsh environment, Antarctica is also home to some fascinating and surprising facts. In this video, we'll explore some of the most interesting facts about Antarctica. The Antarctica had many fascinating facts that starts in its discovery. The discovery of Antarctica is a long and complex history, with different explorers contributing to its discovery over several centuries. Antarctica is the only continent that was literally discovered, because it has no native human population. British explorer Sir James Cook circumnavigated the continent in 1772, but saw only some outlying islands. Before that there is no Antarctica in world map. But many people had belief that, there is one place in southernmost part of the world. The first sighting of Antarctica is now widely acknowledged to have taken place on 28 January 1820 during the voyage of two Russian ships, the Vostok and Mirny under the command of Captain Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen and Mikhail Lazarev during a two-year exploratory expedition around the world to discover new lands for the Russian Empire. They named it, Antarctic Continent. In the same year, a British expedition led by William Smith also sighted the continent, but he believed it to be an iceberg. The first claimed landing on continental Antarctica was by British-American sealing captain. John Davis in the ship Cecilia at Hughes Bay on the Antarctic Peninsula on 7 February 1821. Some of the crew went ashore for less than an hour to look for seals, this claim cannot be confirmed. The first undisputed landing on Antarctica didn't happen until much later on January 24, 1895 at Cape Adair during the whaling voyage of the ship Antarctic led by Henrik Bull. A small boat with six, possibly seven, men on board rowed ashore during calm conditions. In fact the Antarctica was discovered 39 years later after Uranus, the seventh planet of our solar system was discovered. When was Antarctica declared as continent? It wasn't until the International Geophysical Year in 1957, when scientists from different nations came together to conduct coordinated research in Antarctica, that the continent's status as a separate continent was firmly established. Since then, Antarctica has been recognized as the fifth largest continent and the southernmost continent on Earth. Antarctica is the coldest continent on Earth, with temperatures that can reach as low as minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest temperature ever recorded was at the Soviet Union's Vostok station in 1983. How Antarctica glaciated? The glaciation of Antarctica is thought to have been caused by a combination of factors, including the continent's location near the South Pole, changes in ocean currents, and fluctuations in atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. About 34 million years ago, Antarctica became fully glaciated, with ice sheets covering much of the continent. This glaciation is believed to have been triggered by a combination of cooling temperatures and changes in ocean circulation patterns that brought more moisture to the continent. Atmospheric carbon dioxide levels also played a role in the glaciation of Antarctica. Over the past few million years, there have been cycles of glaciation and deglaciation that are thought to have been driven in part by changes in carbon dioxide levels. When carbon dioxide levels are low, temperatures tend to be cooler, and ice sheets can form or expand. When carbon dioxide levels are high, temperatures tend to be warmer, and ice sheets can melt or retreat. Despite its harsh environment, Antarctica is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including penguins, seals, whales, and many species of birds. Antarctica is also home to the largest land animal, the flightless midge. What is the largest desert in the world? If you hear this question, most of the time we answered. Sahara Desert. But the real answer is. Antarctica. So how would you decide if you could call a vast array of land a desert? It's easy. The amount of rainfall it gets determines which area can be called a desert. So, technically, a place that receives less than 25 centimeters of rain each year is considered a desert. Also, deserts can be both hot and cold. Antarctica is the driest continent on Earth, with an average annual precipitation as less than 5.1 centimeters in a year. In fact, Certain parts located away from the coast of Antarctica have not had rain in the past 14 million years, however, much of this precipitation is in the form of snow, which can accumulate to several feet in some areas. Going by size, the Antarctic desert is the largest on the planet, 
measuring a total of 13.7 million square km. The Sahara, which is mistakenly considered as the world's largest desert is actually the largest hot desert in the world. You would be surprised to know that temperatures in Sahara can go up to 58 degrees Celsius during the day. The ice sheet covering Antarctica is the largest single mass of ice on Earth, accounting for 90% of the world's total ice volume and 70% of its fresh water. Antarctica used to be as warm as Melbourne. Given that the coldest ever land temperature was recorded in Antarctica of minus 89.2 degrees Celsius, it can be hard to imagine Antarctica as a warm, temperate paradise. But Antarctica hasn't always been an icy land locked in the grip of a massive ice sheet. In fact, Antarctica was once almost as warm as Melbourne is today. Researchers have estimated that 40 to 50 million years ago, temperatures across Antarctica reached up to 17 degrees Celsius. Scientists have also found fossils showing that Antarctica was once covered with verdant green forests and inhabited by dinosaurs. There is no Antarctic time zone. The question of time in Antarctica is a tricky one. At the South Pole the lines of longitude, which give us different time zones around the globe, all meet at a single point. Most of Antarctica experiences six months of constant daylight in summer and six months of darkness in winter. Time starts to feel a little different without the normal markers for day and night. The South Pole, located in Antarctica, is the southernmost point on Earth. It is also the only point on Earth where all directions are north. Antarctica is also the site of the coldest recorded wind speed on Earth, with gusts of up to 321 km per hour recorded at the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station. Despite being a remote and uninhabited continent, Antarctica has a rich history of exploration and scientific research. The first person to reach the South Pole was Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen in 1911. The Antarctic Treaty, signed in 1959, designates Antarctica as a scientific preserve and prohibits military activity on the continent. Today, over 30 countries have research stations in Antarctica, studying everything from climate change to the behavior of penguins. How many plants are there in Antarctica? There are no trees or shrubs in Antarctica, and there are only two flowering plants, Antarctic hair grass and Antarctic pearlwort. Other than that there is no any species of plants or survive in Antarctica. Life's in Antarctica. One of the most iconic Antarctic animals is the emperor penguin, which is well adapted to the cold and spends much of its life on sea ice. Other Antarctic birds include various species of petrels, skuas, and albatrosses. In addition to birds, a variety of marine mammals can be found in Antarctic waters, including seals, whales, and dolphins. Below the ice, there is a diverse community of organisms, including algae, bacteria, and invertebrates that live in the sea ice and on the ocean floor. Antarctica has active volcanoes. Antarctica is that it was home to 138 volcanoes, most of which are located in West Antarctica which is one of the densest volcanic regions on Earth and two of them are active. Mount Erebus, the second highest volcano in Antarctica is the southernmost active volcano on Earth. Located on Ross Island, this icebound volcano has some unique features such as ice fumaroles and twisted ice statues that form around gases that seep from vents near the volcanic crater. The second active volcano is on Deception Island, a volcanic caldera in the South Shetland Islands. Once home to a thriving whaling station and later a scientific station, it was abandoned after the most recent eruption in 1969. The Antarctic Peninsula is one of the most rapidly warming areas on Earth. The Antarctic Peninsula is warming more quickly than many other areas on Earth. In fact, it is one of the most rapidly warming areas on the planet. Over the past 50 years, average temperatures across the Antarctic Peninsula have increased by 3 degrees Celsius, five times the average increase on Earth. This has led to some changes, for example where and when penguins form colonies and sea ice forms. It also means that the lush mosses of the Antarctic Peninsula have a slightly longer growing season. If Antarctica were to undergo significant deglaciation, it could have major implications for global sea levels and the Earth's climate. Antarctica contains about 90% of the world's ice, and if all of that ice were to melt, it could raise sea levels by over 200 feet. This would have significant impacts on coastal communities and ecosystems around the world, leading to flooding, erosion, and the loss of important habitats. In addition to its effects on sea levels, the deglaciation of Antarctica could also have significant implications for the Earth's climate. 
The melting of the ice could lead to changes in ocean currents, which could affect weather patterns and climate systems around the world. It could also release large amounts of stored carbon and other greenhouse gases, which could further accelerate global warming. Scientists are closely monitoring Antarctica's ice sheets and studying how they are changing over time. While some melting is already occurring, the extent and rate of future deglaciation are still uncertain and will depend on a variety of factors, including future greenhouse gas emissions, ocean temperatures, and other climate variables. Antarctica is a continent full of fascinating facts and unique features, from its extreme temperatures to its diverse wildlife and rich history of exploration and research. As we continue to study and explore this remote and icy land, we are sure to uncover even more surprises and mysteries. That's it for today's video. Thank you watching. We hope you got some fascinating experience about Antarctica. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming videos.